Yes, Apple have just announced the third brand new Mac this week, the MacBook Pro. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what's new and what you need to know about it. Let's go. Yes, Apple have updated the MacBook Pro to the new M4, M4 Pro and M4 Max chips starting from $15.99. It comes in 14-inch and 16-inch varieties. You can order it right now and it's available from next week. So what's new with the new MacBook Pro? Well, the base model now starts with 16 gigabytes of RAM or 24 gigabytes on the 16-inch model. That's up from 8 gigabytes on previous models. The Liquid Retina XDR display now boasts up to 1,000 nits of brightness for SDR content and 1600 for HDR. Oh, and they finally upgraded the center stage camera to a 12 megapixel camera. So that's going to be a big improvement on previous models. The new MacBook Pro is available in both space black and in silver. As far as ports and connectivity goes, it's actually been improved. We've got the HDMI, Thunderbolt and SD card reader on one side, and then another two Thunderbolts, as well as a headphone jack on the other side. That is one additional Thunderbolt port for those playing along at home. And like we saw with the Mac mini, the Pro and the Max models, have Thunderbolt 5. So if you've got those faster SSD drives or peripherals, you can connect them using Thunderbolt 5. Apple are boasting up to a 24 hour battery life. They say it's the longest battery life ever on a Mac and the efficiency is actually pretty amazing given the power of the chip, which we're gonna talk about now. Your base 14 inch MacBook Pro, which is 1599, comes with a 10 core CPU, 10 core GPU, 16 gigabytes of memory and 512 gigabytes of storage. For 1599, that's actually a pretty good deal. And with the Pro and Max chips, there's actually six different base configurations. We've got the top three here, which just have additional amounts of memory and storage. But if we scroll on down, we've got the Pro and the Max models here. Two Pro models, either the 12 core, 16 core, or the 14 core, 20 core CPU. And then we've got the M4 Max with 14 core CPU and 32 core GPU. And the base model of the Max comes with 36 gig of memory and one terabyte of storage. However, you are paying $31.99 for the privilege. And with the 16 inch models, it's a similar story, except we don't have the M4 available. So you will need to go for a Pro or a Max. There's four different configurations. And of course, like all Apple products, you can actually spec it out and add in additional storage, additional memory and other options as well. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention about the display is that it's now available like in the iMac in a nano textured display, which can be better in brighter areas. Oh, and Apple snuck in one final bit of information about the Mac. MacBook Air. No, it's not going to the M4 chip. It's staying on M2 or M3. However, you are going to now get 16 gigabytes of base memory on the base models, which means that every single Mac that you now buy will have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. And Apple are very deliberately positioning this so that every single Mac will run Apple intelligence really well. And to their credit, the prices across the entire range, iMac, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini and MacBook Air have not increase, which in 2024 is kind of amazing given the cost of everything else at the moment. So new iMac, new Mac mini, new MacBook Pro, and that's it because Apple also mentioned that this is the third and final announcement of a product this week. They'll have their quarterly results announcement tomorrow and then we don't know about on Friday. Uh, we thought it was going to be five days. We were hoping maybe for iPads or something else. Who knows what surprises that they have up their sleeve. Make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned because when we know, I'll let you know. So what do you think? Is there a new MacBook Pro in your future? Let me know your thoughts on this or anything else down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.